Okay, so we're going to do a simple but um, reasonably uh, intense circuit, which is, has two power supplies, and this one is minus 10 volts. And the question is the voltages as they are shown here. So we don't have the option of determining our own uh, voltages and currents as I wish we had. So I'm going to label at least the current. So this current I2 is going down. This current I1 is going to the left. The le reason is V1 is there and V2 is here. I'm again going to use KVL because there's one loop. And I'm going to go by here. I find a minus, I write a minus. And then I write the number there, minus 10, with the sign. Then minus V1 plus V2 and plus 5 equals 0. And now I'm going to use Ohm's law. So V1 equals 1K I1, V2 equals 2K I2, and then I use KCL on this node here, node 1. KCL on node 1 tells me that the sum of all currents coming in, there are no currents coming in, equals sum of everybody coming out, I2 plus I1, and therefore, I2 equals minus I1. And now look, I'm going to use all these pieces of information. I want this equation to be solved. And I'm going to use this and this. But V2 equals 2K I2, which is 2K times minus I1 because of this. So I'm going to say minus 2K I1. Now my final Equation is 10 minus V1, which is 1KI1, plus V2, which is minus 2KI1, plus 5. 10 plus 5 is 15. Minus 1, minus 2 is minus 3KI1, equals 0. And therefore, I1 is going to be 15 divided by 3, 5 milliamps. I2 is minus 5. And from here, I can get both V1 and V2. Look, V1 equals 5 volts. And V2 equals minus 10 volts. So I, I hope this gives you an example, a good example of KVL. KCL and Ohm's Law working together.